Good morning. So what I have for us today is I've been saving. So a little special treat for me. This is a combination of some of my favourite things. It is the U Gears Hurdy Gurdy kit. So what is a Hurdy Gurdy? That is a great question. Um, from a conversation with a friend of mine, I know it's a stringed instrument. I think it's medieval based on a spinning wheel. So that should be quite exciting. I wonder if it will make music when we're finished. I guess we'll find out. Quite a twist in those boards. It's probably not ideal. Sand to remove burrs. Rosin. That must be this. Brush over with rosin. Oh, okay. Okay, so there is my measurement and assembly tool. Start with sprues number one and six. little keys through the square windows and it reckons this is for removing these is that how this works oh well, that's nice and positive it didn't go all the way in though I wonder if it's supposed to go all the way in oh yeah wow it's possible I've got oh yeah that worked better yeah straight through that time okay just clean up the champ for a bit. Go for the next quarter. Lovely. Okay. These look like I'm going to break them quite easily. I'm going to trim as many little tabs as I can find. Okay. Assemble it first. Don't click every trip. That goes all the way to those shoulders. Perhaps that's why we lubricate them. There we go. Oh yeah, that, that wax did seem to help. Oh, that was quite satisfying. Comes through the hole. And then gear number 11. These. Oh, look at that. A little hammer which is just what I need to put these pieces into here this hurdy-gurdy looks to have a planetary gear system here now I wonder if that is actually used as the gearbox or whether it's just a for fun mechanism
So we're at a bit of a critical decision point here with this hurdy-gurdy. From, from what I understand, this wheel here is the critical part of the instrument. Um, as it turns, the string slips over the surface of the wheel, like the bow on a violin, causing it to um, make a noise. It's got an awful procession to it. And it's not that it's not straight on the axle, it's quite, it's perfectly straight on the axle. It's just that the board, the wood itself, is higher at one edge than the other. Now, my options are, I can take this apart from this, where we are now, I think, and I could remake those pieces. I could either get a friend to laser cut them, or I could scroll saw out some new pieces um, to replace them. Uh, so I'm not sure what to do, really. I'm, I'm tempted to push on and see what the results are like. This is a bit new. These bits apparently go in here. Maybe this is the string lift mechanism. Board four. I don't know if I've used board four yet. God, look at that. They've got the space for the bridge there. They've reused that to cut some more pieces. So I apologise for my sniffing on the video. It's a prime hay fever season, and I'm pretty much full of meds. Um, if you think it's annoying for you, I can assure you it's it's worse for me. Two 39s and two 38s by the looks of it. Oh, God, I hate hay fever. Oh, gen gently, gently, Michael. You're getting a bit ahead of yourself now. You just mash the corner of that. That makes me a bit, ah, oh, a bit cross. Okay, push those in there. Try a closer view. There we go, that one. It's through the worst of it. I don't know whether they lift them on and off or whether they just raise the height using the, the cam mechanism. I'm aware that this could make a really tedious video. Okay, noting that that points that way from there. Turn the page. 44 and 45. Run them together carefully. Forty-nine and 50. Actually. Take the smaller double gear, put that through there. Let's give that a little bit more love before it goes in. Okay, sprut two. Oh yeah, it does look. It goes over that one. It's quite exciting, isn't it? And this is going to hold it all together. Tip that up. Really? I actually don't like these pieces very much. Um, these clips go on the side and hold everything together. They do stick out the side, like sort of insect legs. Just make it slightly uncomfortable for me. Here, 
66 and 67. Result. Marrying these two together is going to be interesting. All the horizontal planes marrying into the vertical planes. I mean, you know, on a regular guitar, the neck... Oh, careful, Michael. The neck construction is the most elaborate part, the most elaborate joint on the body, because the tension runs through it. So it will be interesting to see how they cope with the exact self-same problem on this. Assuming there's some tension in the strings, I don't actually know if there is. Uh, two dots go on this side. I only built one. T I'm assuming that's a tuner because I'm making quite a lot of assumptions here. And I've still got this gear spare, but I'll lose them. Sprue eight, part number sixty, and then almost all of these, but not quite. Ooh, another neat one. This one's got a blocker. The parts thread on, and then a blocker clips in next to it to stop it coming off. Take an elastic band. Should have a close up on that. interesting because that stops that band coming off. Look at that. I wonder if that's designed that way. Okay, so you put the slider in and you engage this catch to retain it. Easy as that, he says, failing to do number one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next piece of inlay. Be very careful to push this piece somehow into there. Oh, these are hinges. These are hinges. That makes more sense. There we go. Okay, and then we push these on. It's got quite a way to go. Okay, now what are we up to? Oh my word, that's part of the handle. One. Oh, there's going to be eight things, eight little legs sticking out the bottom when I finish this. And they're all going to want to go through holes on there. Probably nine if I've got to put that dot on down through first. Let's use that. Just get eight square pegs through eight even spaced holes when they wobble around everywhere. How hard could that possibly be? How hard indeed. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, got there. Oh, that's awful. Have I missed something here? Don't push it so far. To get this wedge through. Okay, awesome source. H, this is now piece H, and it has tuners. Slightly scary tuners. Oh, it's, quite, it's got medieval. It's usually derogatory. Oh, wow. Okay, we're now going to marry. Oh, this feels like an important bit. Check we're filming. And bump. Oh my word. These have to go in there. Oh, maybe this, maybe I'm doing it from the wrong end. and won't click. Okay, 
Okay, and that is apparently it. There we go. A twirly whirly hurdy gurdy. Your rosin. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with this rosin. It's, it doesn't feel very sticky, which I think it's supposed to be. So I guess we just go round and round. So the string goes through the loop, up. It goes round behind, does three zigzags out the bottom and then back through the original loop. Easy as that. Okay, two strings. The take up's going to be miles. And keep some tension on and tension it up. Okay, tune in. The model has a melody string for playing melodies and a bordon string for the drone background sound. Six keys, play the crank. We recommend tuning the melody string to D. Okay, so these are just the string angle. Ooh, noise. A and B, it doesn't tell me what A and B are. For a more clear sound, you can switch off the board and string using a little lever in the key box. True, but which way should be on and which way should be off? Before tuning the first string, the melody string, please switch off the board and using the little lever. Yes, but which way? Okay, so I solved my mystery. I had this peg here in 90 degrees from where it should have been, which meant it was touching on the drone string. Um, I still, it doesn't clear the drone string by a whole lot, has to be said. Um, which is not ideal, but I do at least have a pair of playable strings now. So now we've built it, I've sprung it, put rosin on the wheel and tuned it, but can we play something? That's the question. Supposedly you get two Ds, this is tuned to at the minute, um, D2 I've tuned it to, and you get, I'll turn the drone off for a second, slightly scratchy amateur violin-y sound from this string. The drone string's worse because of the procession on the wheel, it makes it slightly uneven. You hear that? Coming and going. Right, we'll play Guess That Tune, okay? So, there we go. Um, I don't think it's going to be my new favourite musical instrument, but it, I mean, it's a passable attempt at a musical instrument. Pretty pleased. Thank you for watching. I promise I won't play any more. Hmm, maybe. <laughs>